It is Monday night and we are live in the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul Hour. I am Tommy Ma. And guys, we got a great show tonight with some very special people, I can guarantee that. But as always, I want to go back to last week and go over the week, what happened and what's going on. Um, I, I know we had the largest audience ever of all the shows that we've ever done last week with Mr. Neville Chesters. We sent him off. He went back to England after like 28 years in America. Road manager for Jimi Hendrix, The Who, Cream, worked with Zeppelin, uh, did the Sgt. Pepper's album with the Beatles, J Emerson, Lake and Palmer, James Taylor. I mean, the man worked with everybody that's anybody. He is an icon amongst the icons. Neville, I hope you got safely back to England, and you know you're always in our prayers. We love you, and you're a dear friend, and you will always be for the rest of my life, and I thank you so much. And I do want to thank some special people that made that show so special last week, so bear with me a minute. Uh, Mr. Arnie Goodman, thank you so much, Arnie. You know what you've done. You've done so much for us in here in Madhouse, and we thank you, and you are a family member here, and you're welcome anytime, anywhere. Mr. Leo Lyons, bass player for 10 years after, called me from England that morning, and uh, being that it was going to be 1 o'clock in the morning when we were on the show, he asked, you know, I said, well, how about, well, call my cell phone back and leave me a message for Neville, and then I'll play it live on the show, which I did. So, Leo, thank you so much. You are a class act, let me tell you, my friend. Um, and I hope to see you in July out in Detroit. Uh, Vince Martell from the Vanilla Fudge. Vince, thank you so much for calling in. You're the best, man. T.M. Stevens, pretenders, James Brown, the man, which will be on the Maverick Soul Hour very shortly. Right, T.M.? And T.C. Tolliver, too. Uh, David Kramer, thank you. Thank you for calling in. Larry Blumenstein, thank you. Mr. Randy Pratt, thank you, Randy Pratt, for calling in. Thank you, Randy. Uh, <laughs> Perita, thank you for calling in. Michael Packer, which on the show, unknown to Neville, we inducted him live right here last week, last Monday night, into the New York Blues Hall of Fame right here. He was in tears. It was, oh, it was an amazing, yeah. amazing cool. If you didn't watch the show, go to the archives, go back on my pages and check it out. It was an unbelievable show. Um, guitar George Fedden, you, you know who you are. You're a family member here too. And Mr. Michelangelo, who's hiding over there. Thank you, Michael, for all you do too and the guests you brought the week before. And uh, that was a great show. I, and trust me, folks, check that show out. You'll love it. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, Amber Ferrari, Chris Ferrari, Eddie, Donna, Jimmy from uh, Joplin's Pearl, uh, Katie's last Saturday night. We played, uh, I, I got up and did a couple tunes with them. She did a, a, a thank you to all her fans, and uh, she had a couple guest vocalists come up, and uh, actually Teddy's brother, uh, Bobby, played a couple tunes. Uh, uh, it, it was just a great night. It was a really great group of people. The place was packed. It was a lot of fun, and Amber... And, and Joplin's Pearl, all you guys, I love you guys, and thanks for it. And my man over there played. You played with me too, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Dave, he played also. Um, it was a great night, though. It was a great group of people, right? It was really a good night. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to thank everybody for that too. Amber, thank you so much. You're, you're, you, know how you, you know how I feel about you, like a sister. Um, well, I tell you what, I want to get to a commercial, and I want to come back, and I'm going to introduce you to some very heavy-duty hitters here. So we're going to be right back. Bear with us. Hang there. Stay tight. Get yourself tight. We'll be right back with the Maverick Soul. Hang in there. Are you planning an event and want to include entertainment, but you're not sure where to turn? Act1Entertainment.net has provided over 1,500 events with quality, affordable live entertainment at private parties, corporate affairs, festivals, bike rallies, and more. Act1 will fit into your budget. They're friendly, reliable, and do all the legwork for you. They take all major credit cards. Log on to Act1Entertainment.net for a free, no-obligation price quote, or call 631-758-3505 for a brochure. You'll be happy you did. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? 
I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. We are back. Hey, listen, something new. How about a little rock and roll? For A change of pace. <laughs> For all you don't know, Mr. Teddy Rondinelli over there on his guitar. All right, folks, listen, this is a cool show, and, and I love when this happens because I have personal friends here that are personal friends of mine, and it's a lot more fun when you actually know the people and you love the people. So I want to start right over here with my man and my friend, Mr. Randy Pratt. Tonight, his name is the Monster. <laughs> Neil the Monster, monster. Sision. <laughs> Sision, right over here. Thank you. And next to him, which you just saw, Mr. Teddy Rondinelli. On Yay. So, that is half of Rickety. That is the band that they are in, and that is the band we're going to be talking about tonight. And Randy is the leader of the band, put it all together, <laughs> and we're going to talk about this. But, uh, but that... I want to just mention the people who are not here on lead vocals, the one and only Perita. Perita, Yay, we love you. Perita. We love you. I, talked to, I talked to Perita today on the phone. She's doing good. She sounds great. God bless you, Perita. Poor Vladimir. Vladimir. Rhythm. Vladimir. Vladimir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rhythm guitar and Don't keyboards. Rush. And Paul Gifford, vocals, percussion, and sample. Correct. The boys. All right. That's we it. did. That's it. All right. So, Randy, where are we going with this? To the top, baby. Straight to the top. Without a doubt. So, I have seen, I've had the pleasure of seeing Rickety many times. Um, tell us where you're at now. I know, I know you're just finishing up an album. We're, we're finishing an album, uh, taking it to the printer in January. Um, and um, got a good manager. I managed the mountain and the vanilla fudge and cactus and stuff like that. And we, we're, we've got big plans, baby. Big plans for the coming year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have been involved with all those bands that you have just mentioned also. Along uh, yeah, yeah. With many, many other bands, too. Not, I like, mean, the, I not just, like I'm involved I just would like band. the people out there watching to know. I mean, I know you're not pushing anything else, but, you know, you have been involved with a lot of people. And you've been very influential with bringing a lot of these bands back, you know, such as the vanilla fudge. And, uh, Teddy toured with the vanilla fudge for I a long time. Teddy, yeah. Probably most anything in New York that they played, I saw. Yeah. Uh, that's right. I don't remember That's you. right. When you <laughs> played with the Rascals and the, the Mountain over there. that one guy in the front. That's right. That's right. I was. Uh, B3. Um, that was a great show, by the way. But um, so you're recording in your studio. And anybody that has, well, can I mention the restaurant? Electric Randy. Please do. It is, it is like, um, uh, it takes me back to 67 when there was uh, them things that made you drift into different stratospheres throughout your brain. But to walk through Randy's house <laughs> is like <laughs> tripping, I'm telling you. Not that I ever did, but it's like you were tripping. Because you go from one room, there's monsters, and then there's a bass amp room, and then there's the, my favorite part is 
Zeppelin's uh, amp. I mean, that is, I just was like, oh my God, it's yeah, amazing. No. But he has an incredible home with a beautiful studio, green screens, everything in there. Um, it, we, we did actually do two shows, or three even, from, from your home. Wow. I know, you know, we spliced them all together, but we did, I think, two or three shows. So if you guys want to go back in the archives and see how the other, how we wish we could be living, oh, it's, so. it's pretty cool. No, it's just cool, because you got a lot of cool things. I mean, we were just blown away. Everybody lives there with me. Huh? Everybody's living there with me. Well, that's good. That's They're good. You know, it's like Joe Pesci has all of his friends living in, uh, in uh, L.A. The commune. His, his, no, his friends from birth. Remember, remember the, on the Ivan Costello show, they had the home for retired actors. This is the home oh, for yeah. retired rock stars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I take well, you out. had the one next to you, too. Pull them out right? of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, what's, what's happening right now? We've got, like, we've got almost three albums of material recorded that we chose this album from. Right. And um, you know, we're always writing and recording. Uh, since, since I've seen you last time, I've, I've been in jail, <laughs> went, through, went through interferon <laughs> treatment, uh, uh, rehab, plastic surgery. <laughs> um, I, I, I've the got, moon. My hair fell out. I grew back. I dyed it black, grew a beard. I got a new amp, a new guitar, three new cats. And, uh, and I only last saw you a week ago. No, that's been, it's been, it's been about a half a year. But that, that's no, what, I just saw you in the Bad Jock Theater. Okay, well, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was after all, I went through all of that. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling good now again. Feeling, yeah, you look good. Ready, look ready good. for Freddie. I'm very happy for you. You know, you're always in my thoughts and my prayers, too. Are there any good at drummers on Long Island in this area that are not Italian? No. I, I never, <laughs> what, is, what is this? I don't believe this. <laughs> you have the monsters. That's Neil it. just told me before we come in here, I said, Randy, I've been practicing a lot. I'm taking it to the next level. And Teddy <laughs> said that to me last rehearsal. So I think when, when they see Rickety next, there's going to be a lot of level jumping, level jumping, jumping going on. Do there. we have anything booked that uh, the people can go uh, see? Not in the near future in the area. You know, well, been, yeah, we have a gig in April that we're doing up in uh, Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, February, well, in February, we're, we're starting the gig again. You know, okay. we, we had a lot, some... Uh, some things to get out of, to get out of the way, like some just my own personal stuff I just described to you there. But uh, but uh, we're coming back more beautiful and more talented than ever. Well, I'll tell you, one <laughs> of the biggest treats in my life was, uh, and actually it was Randy's idea because I really didn't want anybody to know. But uh, last year when I turned sixty, Randy said I want to we want to play for your birthday, okay. and uh, and actually yep. Teddy's birthday was the day before, Let's do that right? Again, so. <clears throat> Anyway, we played it, my 60th birthday, uh, my band played, and then these guys yeah. played. It was like a phenomenal night, and I still thank all you guys. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. We had a very, great very time. Good. I like that place. It was that a was great cool. night. The Blue Parrot. Great night. Great Blue Parrot, Mass Speaker, Romeo, and Janine. Nice time. Uh, good people. Good people. So, um, Neil. Yes. How are you doing? No, I love you as a drummer. I Thank mean, you, you are. Man. That's why you are the monster, <laughs> Neil, the monster. Um, yes, he is the monster. He is. He really is. He's a great. Thank you. He great is job. what every band great wishes guy, they had. Job. I gotta tell you. Take a picture of this hand. <laughs> he went that way. It's a good bagel. Yeah. Hands off the wheel before impact. Wow. Well, explain. Explain what that. That's why he wears that glove. You have to wear like that. That's since I met you. <laughs> but that's my main finger, though. So if you see Randy play, that's that why he's got the black was glove on. But actually, people said... It's not the black you, hand. You actually play better now. The fact that I can play after that proves that that is my purpose on the planet. That's right. And actually, the night that that happened, you were on your way to go and meet with Teddy's brother, Bobby, right? Yes. Well, <laughs> you know, I was on the way to a lizard rehearsal and I but he didn't want to take me off the road though, so I can still play. 
Well, I give you a lot of credit for coming back with that and, and being able to play. And you, you have said that. People have said you his actually brother, His better. brother said that. I think he said it calmed me down a little bit, you know, maybe play and, less. And anybody who doesn't know, Teddy's brother, Bobby Rondinelli. But, you know, all the hot bass players and guitar players want the bass player to play less. That's so it. That's probably what he yeah, said. <laughs> he probably meant I played less. <laughs> so, Teddy, what? What are you want? warmed up yet? Not yet. Not yet. I didn't Later think so. Hold on. <laughs> Ouch. What's that? He's almost good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Teddy, you've been around. you played a lot of big people, too. And uh, how do you feel this fit is with Rickety? I love it. Yeah. I love playing. Well, you brought Perita in, too, didn't you? What? His Did brother. You? Well, Bobby. My brother. Bobby, uh, Bobby suggested. Yeah, I asked his brother. We, we, started, we started the band, and I asked his brother if he knew a, a good female singer. And he goes, this is the best unsigned female singer I've ever seen. And, uh, and he was right. Well, I have, a, I have some really, really, really close friends that I've known since I'm five years old. And I mean, one, the one guy's played, you, you name it, he's played with him. He's played, he's traveled all over the world. But it's a Motown player. Yeah, I mean, he plays rock too, but he mostly has been with, you know, R&B, artists and that. And he knows Perita very well. And his name is Vinlo Odom. Hey, Vinlo. And um, he told me that uh, she, she is literally the only woman in North America that can do Aretha Franklin justice. The only person in North America. Like if they but want you know, someone you know to do what it, they my call favorite her. Thing? She told me when she joined the band that she'd never been in a rock band before. Well, yeah, I believe This that. is her first rock band. Well, I mean, I've seen her in her other bands too. Yeah. And I mean, right. she is. She's awesome. She's right. a, great, great. Beyond amazing. Beyond amazing. I mean, uh, that girl is just an R&B freak. I mean, there's no question about that. But now what I like is where she's traveling to. Mm, you know? yeah. And I think she's digging it too. I definitely do, because I was talking, she called me today and actually was talking, we talked for about 45 minutes, and she seems like she's in a really happy, good place, too. Awesome. So yeah, it's good. Great. It's good. We love her. Yeah. It's good. good. Perita, we love you. She's our soul <laughs> sister, our sweet soul sister. So, Neil, what is <laughs> yes. your feelings about the whole stew? You know, what do you, what do you I love about? it. I love it. I like the way we write, you know, like me and Teddy and uh, Randy, a lot of times will be down there and... He'll come up with a riff. Randy will follow and I follow it, and all of a sudden it just develops. Yeah. Wow. And then, you know, someone puts words to it, and we got, you know, we get, we get some great songs. And it's happening so, like, natural and fast, which is great. It's not like we're pulling teeth trying to, oh, you know, this song, it's, it's, yeah. it's just coming right out. The hard part is, get, is you know recording what I mean? stuff and, fast and, enough, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it's mm. like we're getting stuff well, out. You know, like, I great. talk about it on the show all the time. It's that chemistry, you know? Yeah. And very, you know, you could put six great musicians together. Right. And it just never really works. It's, right. you know, it's just that, like, just, you know, I'll say it again. It it's has like the, the stones, you know? I mean, it you take them apart. Yeah. You know, you know what no helps the chemistry? Stew, you know? We all sleep together in a big bed. <laughs> <laughs> we just sleep together. We don't, you know, we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't there's not no a... No Western oil or nothing? No, no oil. No, no, no. But we, we just go. Depends on the night. Just to wake up in, just to wake up in the bed and look over and see Teddy and Neil there. Oh, it's just amazing. like it's, it's, it's a, you know, it's yes. like, like, you know, that's cool. And you yeah. start right, and you know, that's, good. <laughs> that's really good. Right, right there, you know, it's good. And but every everybody's <laughs> contributing great, you know, which is great. Yeah. Well, that's you know, yeah. that's the chemistry of great really bands, good. you know, it's and um, and when you can do that, you know, I mean, most, you know, I'm sure you've been in a thousand bands too. Yeah. You know, you come to that roadblock and is that right a block and uh, this guy's got this and this guy's got it. It helps to have issues, a theme. You know, we have a theme, and this band, the theme is sex. <laughs> Most of our songs are about sex. Well, that's good. So it's like it's sex like, sells. It was just, it's just just what sex will always. I don't sell. do it for money, and it's just it's just no, just because it's that. just we have to heartfelt. We know. do. <laughs> 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 but um, I I I can see the camaraderie and all that, which is which is really I mean that that in itself oh, oh. is so hard to do. <laughs> it, it, you know, let's. Oh, right, oh. I don't. I mean, I mean, I've been in a lot of bands too, and there's always one guy or somebody or you know, you know, there's always oh, that you guy. Gotta, that, you got to keep him in that another keeps dressing that room. That tuma boiling. <laughs> we got, you got to have that guy. On a second. You have to have a little friction once in a while. Well, a little yeah. friction makes a good. A band little healthy too. friction, like best friends. A little friends, healthy friction. Best friends right? will have arguments, right. but oh, when it's over, it's over. Right? That's cool. How many times we punch each other out before? Oh, no. yeah. Ouch! <laughs> ouch! Ouch! Teddy, is that in the big bed? Uh, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting too old to hit each other now. Yeah, yeah we break that, bones like that. <laughs> this, this stuff. Yeah. Uh, 
But um, I know you guys have a lot of fun, and I've seen you play many, many, many times. And what I do like about your band, that it's very unique, and, I, and Parita is the unique scene. You saw our it. first gig. Yeah. We're so much better now. Oh, we're so much better than the you. last time you saw us. We, uh, the last rehearsal was the best we ever played. We, really, we rehearse all the time. We're getting better and better yeah. all the time. I'm going to come so to a rehearsal cool. anyway. We're so you good. Gotta uh, come. Uh, gotta uh. come. <laughs> oh, he keeps asking me, but I can never, never get a shot. No time to go, but I definitely want to come over and Tuesdays see Tuesdays and at. Thursdays. Yeah. That's the main I'm definitely going to come over. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been great watching you guys grow and, and, and melding when into. When was our first gig? The Katie's. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was there. He yeah, I still got pictures of that over there. Wow. Maybe Janine, Tuesday night, Katie's. might even have a few. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, well, oh, Tuesday yeah, night, Katie's in Smithtown. Yeah. This, Brian? This, 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 hearing us? This Tuesday? <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember it very well. Very well. Very well. I remember you walking in. They had like a halo around your head. A halo? Yeah. Mm. That was the first. That's that, right. That's that probably the first like well, that, that. That pompadour glows like a halo. When you were... Pompadour. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, I had Randy's makeup girl take care of me tonight, so I'm all right. <laughs> but um, you have come a long way, and I really want to see. You know, but I, like I want to go back to where I was. You know, by bringing Perita in, because it was Kaiser, It was really an odd move in a way. You know, when you really think about that's, it. But that's, you know, that's take an RB. True R&B singer, <clears throat> put her in front of a really heavy with Teddy and, and the monster in there. I mean, that's quite a switch, and I think it probably was a little uncomfortable for her at first. I mean, I mean, I remember you telling me on our first uh, uh, interview that we did at your home when you were telling me that you, you sat her down and you lo let, let her watch uh, yeah. Steven Tyler, you know, to get the uh, yeah, so feel. I played, and, I played her, you know, per Deep Purple, Steven right, Tyler. Right. Uh, Took her a long time. Uh, yeah. Took yeah. her about a week. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, hey, it's never too late. A week yeah. of hard work. Yeah. No, she's great. She's a great front girl, too, and uh, it, what, that's what I like about the band, though. It's such a unique sound because, you, you know, like when I first saw you, I, I wanted to, you know, I was very curious. My curiosity is what brought me there, and then when I, I just had to hear how is this going to work out. Right. And it was like, you know, it was just. It's different. It, it was something needed, something new, because right, we've, right. we've all heard yeah. the best, I and mean, even, even as great as they are, it's all kind of like, you know, we've heard that before, we've been <clears> there before. Right, right. This was very different, very di and still very different, yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is what makes it unique, and I think that's what's going to draw the people to you guys, because you're not, you know, because, I mean, let's face it, like on Long Island, I mean, you know Teddy, too. I mean, you can go out and see a hundred really good bands. Yeah. You know? I mm -hmm. mean, you know, yeah. you really could. You literally could go out on a Saturday night and see a hundred good bands. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, but this is, you're not going to see something like this. No, this is know? definitely and, its own element. And, and, and it's something music needs now, is something different. You right, know? Right. We definitely need to go in a different direction. Right. And, um, you know, I think it's very cool what you're doing. I, 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 I like where it's going. Uh oh. And uh, <laughs> it's just really blending well together. And uh, what, I, what I'm really happy about is that you're lasting, you know, throughout, you know, the personalities and everything, which is, th that's a really tough thing well, to we, get through. We're getting along well. That's, that, yeah. see, but that's yeah. really important. I think we have really a shared vision. Because, uh, you know, I've been through the horrors. I'm sure everybody has. But, uh, the human element ruins is, it's the thing that without ruins a doubt, everything. Without yeah. a doubt. Ego, whatever it is. Yeah. It's, there's, or, you know, hemorrhoids, whatever. There's always something, <laughs> you know, there's it. always something. Oh, but, some um, BS, right? All right, so listen, we're going to take a quick break. Hey, Teddy, you feel like playing us out for a little uh, commercial break? <laughs> so many people. Are your finances tight lately? Afraid to open your mail or even answer your phone? Well, take heart. You don't have to live like that. If you're 62 or older and own your own home, you can join the thousands of folks who have used safe and effective government-insured reverse mortgages. The government-insured reverse mortgages from Long Island's Senior Reverse Network allow you to stay in your home and turn equity into tax-free cash. Our government-insured reverse mortgages can eliminate mortgage payments, credit card balances, or just improve your lifestyle. Do yourself a favor and solve these problems now. 
Call the Senior Reverse Network, and our advisors will answer all of your questions about our reverse mortgage programs. We've helped scores of senior Long Island homeowners like you who now enjoy a worry-free retirement. Get the financial security and peace of mind you've dreamed about. Pick up the phone and call us at the Senior Reverse Network now to set up a free consultation. Call 1-800-985-REVERSE. That's 1-800-985-7383. We are back with the Maverick Soul and my special guest, Rickety, with Randy Pratt. I got Mr. Teddy Rondinelli here and Mr. Neil, the monster, Sision. <laughs> so we're going to run a couple pictures and let you guys see just what these guys do. And uh, I guess between us all, we can get you through what's going on with these pictures. So Janine, can you uh, show us a couple pictures? Oh, oh that the, I know what that is. That's in Randy's. That's the Electric Randy Land Seal. That's I didn't it. call my place Electric Randy Land. Somebody else called it that. Randy Holden called it called the place that. So. Oh, there's us on our first. Uh, That's me with no beard and hair. <laughs> yeah, Randy had some hair. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh God, that's me barely able to stand on Interferon at South, the South Great South Bay Festival. That's, and that's me again. and Paul Latimer playing the Great South Bay with the Doobie Brothers and Billy Squire and us. And that's, uh, that's at 89 North with me and Perita. And that's... That's uh, a blue parrot. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, that's a blue parrot, yeah. That was, uh, I guess, my birthday. No, no, it wasn't. Is Michelangelo. That's me and Mike. He's picking your pocket, I think. <laughs> that was, uh, where was that? The blue parrot? Where yeah, probably. That? Okay. Oh. Was that my Facebook page? I, I like that. It's That's Teddy. Teddy Whalen. Teddy in action. And his custom leather duds. That's no, BB King. I can recognize the red suit. That was, that was us with Cactus. Well, that's just me with cactus. Yeah, that's uh, some cactus thing. That's us at, up in Connecticut, Fairfield, Connecticut. Maybe that's at 89 North, I think. That was like B.B. King. Yeah. Oh, that was it right there. That was your first gig. Oh, God. That was the first gig. At wardrobe, the wardrobe. Call the wardrobe department. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Rare Earth? Uh, that's Rare Earth. Teddy, that suit is we so were there cool, for man. That too. Break that suit out of mothballs. Where that's is Teddy, it? That's what is Teddy that? with his formal outfit on. That's so badass. That's the drummer, right? That's the guy from Rare Earth. Yeah. That's yeah. the drummer. He looks bored as hell to be standing with me. <laughs> 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 that's one of my old bands with Teddy's brother. That's the Lizards back, back cover with Teddy and me. I mean, Bobby and me. Ah, me, my wife, and... Uh, Charlie, Charlie Daniels. Daniels. At the uh, <laughs> Long Island Hall of Fame. The monster yeah. with Charlie Daniels. <laughs> yeah. Great. We were invited to the Long Island Hall of Fame. We didn't perform at the Long Island Hall of Fame because they uh, yeah, that sucked, kept us there right? all day. Was us with Brett Michaels. Yeah, that was a good gig. That was a nice rock and roll. I think he has a picture with Brett, too. That's, uh, That's me with Carmine. Us hanging and, uh, out with Cactus. We played with Cactus. And uh, Jimmy. Rick and A. That's a great shot. Teddy and Perita. That's me and my... Uh, That's me. My extensive music library. Yeah, <laughs> that was where we did the interview. <laughs> yeah. That, that was one of the cool rooms. That was the space room. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the living room, yeah. And that's with Tom. Tom was there. 
Is that in front of my house? Yeah, okay. Oh, God. There's a new one of you. Right? I look so sick. I'm so glad I'm off that. <laughs> That's it? All we right, are, cool. We are too. Nice. I did want to ask you one question, though, because <clears throat> you know Zeppelin is my, my favorite of all. Zeppelin were a good band. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll agree with They you. were good. But you, had, you, had, you actually did live like a fantasy of mine over there when you were playing in England. We toured, we toured Europe. Teddy was there and I. We're in, we're, Teddy was in the Vanilla Fudge and I was in uh, the Lizards. Right. And we, uh, we played at Sturbridge, England. And Robert Plant, my, my, my road guy, brought Robert George Fedden. He said, somebody's here to see you. And Robert Plant came in the room. And my head just kind of filled up with cotton. I just, <laughs> I just felt like I was dreaming, but he was so easy to be with. He was the nicest guy, and, man. And that's I, when Ted, uh, Tim got sick, right? So Tim got sick, and we used to jam after every show on a cactus song uh, with, with uh, the lizards and the fudge. And um, I was outside pulling a poster off the wall, so I had it for, for memorabilia. And, and my guitar player, Pat, came out and said, we got to go in and jam. Tim's sick. Tim's very sick. We yeah. always, he got sick a lot. But we, uh, we went inside, and we're sitting around in a huddle, like, what are we going to do? And there's Robert Plant in the huddle with us. And, and uh, he, knew, he knew the cactus version of Parchment for him. What are you supposed to do, fellas? Was it Parchment for him? <laughs> yeah, he said, what are we going to do? He said, it must have been coming. surreal, though. Right? Carmen goes, do you know Parchment for him? He goes, yeah. And we got up there, and I'm, I'm wailing in the harmonic. I open my eyes, and Robert Plant's looking at me like this. And I go, I almost <laughs> fainted. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a fa I'm a fan boy at heart, you know? Oh, God. I'm like, that I'm, had to be surreal. Like when I, was, when I was like one of the girls who used to scream for the Beatles. I'm still like that. You know? I actually like, put that picture <laughs> of you guys all on uh, the invite for the show tonight. Oh, cool. Yeah, he was great. He was very gracious. I loved him. I yeah. dreamed of him. That's why I put him in my book here, Lucifer. I, he was my buddy in that book. My we friend. will talk about mm -hmm. that. But right now, I think we want to try to go to a video and see you just let everybody see just what these guys can do. Janine, are we ready for that?
ladies and gentlemen, that was rickety. And now you know why Teddy is what he is. And the monster, did you see the monster solo there? <laughs> the monster. <laughs> Woo! Near the monster. <laughs> but I, I, I'll tell you something about that song. The name of that song is Maverick Lover. And for my 60th birthday and Teddy's birthday, we ce celebrated the same night. Um, they ch Parita was kind enough, and I guess you had something to do with that. They changed the, the words to Maverick Soul. So it was very <laughs> cool. It was very, very cool and very... Maverick fun. Soul stuff. But I do have a surprise for you, Randy. I have a surprise. So if you don't mind, I would like to do the surprise, okay? I have a message from somebody for you. So just bear with me, folks, because this is from a very special person, so... No. You can't hear me? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Is my, uh, hold on. I have a green light. I have no sound. Sound, one, two, one, two. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. No. I see it. I see it on the screen. The line is jumping. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right, we're back. All right. I have a little special surprise for Randy. He doesn't know about this, but I'm going to pull my uh, lab off here a minute and put it by my phone. So just bear with me, folks. I just want Randy to hear this if possible. You have six new voice messages. You have six saved voice messages. First voice message. Hey, 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 um, this is a message for Randy, Randy, because I can't be there on Monday, because hopefully I'll actually be in England, because we're leaving tomorrow, Saturday, so I'm leaving a message for Tommy, for, for you for the show on Monday, um, I hope it goes well, it's going to go well, and, um, just to say that I love you, and, um, I, I hope, you know, if I get through all this, I'll see you again, and we'll do the Randy Land thing. And um, thank you for last Monday. And I'm getting you back. You know, it just goes around and comes around. And, and I don't know what else to say, but, you know, I, I'm really sad that I can't be with you, but I'm saying the message, you know, have a great show. And you know I love all you guys. And for the show, a special. Okay? And I will be in touch pretty soon. All right. Love you. Bye. All right. That was a yeah, message yeah. from Mr. Neville Chester's to Mr. Mm -hmm. Randy Price. Awesome. Nice. So nice. You, did call, nice. you called in for him last week, and mm -hmm. he wanted to return the favor because he really, truly wanted to be here. But you know the case with him. He had to go back <coughs> to England and get straightened out, you know, some health issues and that. And, um, you know, but Thank he did, you, Tommy. He did want Thank to you very that, much. You know, I'll I take all the love I can get wherever I can get it. Hey. <laughs> It's good. He's, he's a good guy to know. He's a great, we, we love Neville. Um, so what do you say? You, would you think we should try another video? Yeah, sure. Janine, can we hook up another video of these tremendous uh, talents? I never get sick of watching myself. <laughs>
Oh, hit it, Teddy! That's how we relax in the madhouse. That's how we relax. <laughs> Teddy Rondinelli right there, my yeah, friend. Man. Don't One get much better One than that. Um, I do want to talk a little bit quickly because we're running, the time is going by so fast, but I do. Randy wrote this book called Lucifer, and it is an intriguing book. It's uh, for anybody who's a, a reader and kind of a little freaky. It's a very cool book, but give us a little, just tell me a little bit about it. I mean, I know, but tell the people out there. Well, I, mean, I like writing, I like writing lyrics and stuff, you know, I like playing with words. But when I, I had this car accident and my hand was in a cast, I didn't know if I was ever going to be able to play right. again. So I just sat down at the computer and started typing this rock fantasy. I kind of went back to when I was a kid and corrected all the mistakes in my life. And, and you know, just started, I, I, this guy Randy Holden was uh, one of the great unknown unheralded rock guitar players, right. pioneer rock, heavy rock guitar players. He was in Blue Cheer, and he did a solo album in 1970, and then he retired and kind of disappeared. And I, I, I was really a, a fan of his when I was a kid, and I met him in the 90s, and I, I always told him, if I'd met you when I was 17, we would have been bigger than Zeppelin. So that's kind of what this book is. It's that, that fantasy. What you know? would have been. Right, right, sort of. But I mean, I, it's, it's pretty X-rated. You know, there's a lot of... Glorifying. And, 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 the, and the name Rickety, did, did that come out of this book? There's a band called Rickety in the book, and, and it doesn't, it's not exactly this band, but, but there's a lot of song titles in the book that I visualized right. the songs, and, and they became but those that's songs. Where it came Maverick from. Lover was a song in the, in the book. Just I wrote that song title down, and I, and I described the song, and it came together. And then, because, you know, the other guys wrote it with me, but um, yeah, it was, it was really fun. I suggest anybody write a book. Well, where can they, where can they buy the book? Because I know a lot of my Woodstock people will be into this book. Well, um, you can email me, and I'll send you a book. I'll, I'll, All right, you know, and, and they would get you by? Uh, email me at genius at optonline.net. Genius optonline.net. Genius at optonline.net. Right. And just say you want to order a copy of Lucifer. Yeah, it's 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 really cool. It is like a uh, six hundred and thirty like pages. Electric of Randy Randy Land in a book. Over the top, <laughs> over the top rock fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Janine, is that all the pitches that we do have? Yeah. Okay. Um, is that George Fedden? Yeah, that's George. Told you. George, uh, George Fedden. Guitar George Fedden just stepped in too. Hey, Georgie. Um, <laughs> 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 So, I want to know though, what, where is your, where does your fantasy mind see you going with this band? And I mean for real, in reality. In reality, I, I mean, want to headline uh, and sell out places and playing our music and tour the world and just keep getting better and better and writing more and more music and put out, put out as many CDs as we can before we die. You know? <laughs> That's cool. That could but, be 30 of them, right? We could do 30 before we croak. Guys, let's do it. Let's do 30 CDs. Hey, absolutely. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Like, it's, we're only passing through, and the trip is getting shorter. To give now, you an so idea I mean, of, how, yeah. of how cocky we're feeling right now and how strong we feel, the first CD is titled Rickety's Greatest Hits, Volume 1. 
<laughs> so that, that's, that's the, just the beginning. Um, Teddy, you want to do any uh, little, uh, give me a little more of that stuff what? over there? Can you give me another little something over there? Want a little more? something pretty, Teddy. Yeah, I want to hear something. No, I want to hear something. I want to hear Teddy go Teddy. Teddy does you everything. You want to hear Teddy. more? <laughs> Can I say something? Yes, absolutely. That's Teddy's first guitar. Oh, I know that. That was his guitar. He bought, he had bought how old were you? 12. When he got, 12 years old when he got He's still playing. So it's that, only 11 years old now. It's, it's <laughs> still playing the same guitar after all these years. How many guys play hey, the same guitar their whole life? See, I have a lot of respect for that, though. I do, I mean, too. It's totally that cool. That is total respect. What's the name of it? What do you call the guitar? Betsy. Betsy. So hold Betsy, Betsy up. Hold Betsy up. What is that, a 19, 19, <laughs> 1956 Les Paul Jr.? Yep. 1956 Les Paul Jr. All right, I'm going to quickly go by, because we're running out of time, and I do have to do a quick thing, but I want to just go right down the line. Teddy, you have anything you want to say? or uh... Having a lot of fun playing with Ricky. These guys are great. My brothers, love them. Let's see Perita. Wish you were here. Yeah, hi, Perita. The two Pauls. Paul, Paul. Two Yay. Pauls. What a band. What a great band. George. Wish you were here. There's George. We love George. Yeah. George, come over here. George, get over here. Get over here, George. Hey, fellas. Guitar George, George. 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 just popped in. George. George has been around the world with us. George has been around the world with us. And, and, and you guys. Are we still going? Uh, yes. yes, we are. <laughs> and you guys, just so you know, that's when, when Randy was telling the uh, Robert Plant story. Oh, he's the guy that walked George in George is the guy who brought him in. Oh, so. yeah. that, that was so cool, yeah. And we've had George on the show. He makes the most amazing acrylic guitars that you'll ever Thank see you. in your Thank life you. with liquid in them. All Any guitar colors. player, get I one of these guitars, you get a guitar that nobody else has. Well, we're going to have George again. He's part of the family here at Man anyway. You did? Yeah? You're yeah. selling them. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Well, good. All right. I really got to move it. Right. But Neil, what do you got? Uh, loving it. Loving it. Loving Say it. Say hi to your family. Hi, family. <laughs> Love you. And, uh, and remember, everything is going out. great. He is called the monster. <laughs> and Randy, my friend, talk to me. Tommy? You were there from the beginning. You were at our first gig. You were very encouraging to us. Uh, that that face beams something to me that, that makes me happy. I, you, you feel well, make me feel like I can do it. I feel the same way about you, and I love all you guys. And I think I love the band and George and everybody that's even associated with you guys. It's just such a blessing to hang out with you guys. And and I wish you nothing but all the best. And I hope we're along for the trip with you. And yep. uh, I'm looking forward to some really great times. But I do have to say. I hate to cut it, but ah, I, do, I have to, this, is, this to, is now something that's very, very serious, but, um, you know, for all you people, including myself, because I've been, I've, I've learned the lesson, I mean, I've, had, I got a lot of issues with my neck, I have a lot of problems, and believe me, I'm in pain 24 hours a day, I have learned, I'm not bitching about anything anymore, we, we are going to be doing a show for the Ronald McDonald House, and, um, uh, we went over uh, a week ago Sunday, and we did a, 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 we, a mock show. We went over there. We took a whole tour of the Ronald McDonald House. And let me tell you, you want to be brought to your knees into a reality check and see these kids? I mean, I was like, I couldn't even control myself. It was, but then again, on the other side of it, to see what these people have created for these kids that are going, and some of them are not going to make it, and their families, they create this place that their families have a, a safe haven to go. The hospital's right, right next door. 
Every room is different, like Coca-Cola did this room, uh, you know, Taco Bell, whatever the name, I'm not saying names, but everybody did a different room, and no two rooms are the same. It's absolutely incredible what these people do for these kids and their families, and it's amazing. And I just want to let everyone know, and please, 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 if you have a heart in your chest, please, and I'm not one to ask anybody for money, and I'm not talking about a lot of money or if you can do anything, but... Uh, next Saturday, we here at Madhouse are going to be doing a live stream uh, Christmas spectacular show at the Ronald McDonald House over in New Hyde Park here. We're going to have a lot of people. Uh, just so you know, you can go to it by going to RonaldMcDonaldChristmas.com. You can go there. It's going to be a live stream throughout the entire world, anywhere in the world. It's going to be there. Or you can go to Madhouse TV. But, folks, let me tell you, we're going to have a lot of people coming down. Uh, we couldn't bring the heavy guys like, you know, the heavy rockers. So we're going to, we got some acoustic players coming down. It's going to be a great show. A lot of politicians are going to be there. Uh, but I do, I do want to just name a few people that are going to be there. Um, let's see. We're going to have, um, just bear with me, the Kid Stock House with uh, Jacqueline Monique, uh, Katie Zimmer, Diane Bauman, B.R. the Stalker, my sister and my brother, Amber Ferrari and Chris Ferrari are going to be there. Christine and Jean Lopiano, which do our show here on uh, Fridays the Cafe. Um, they are great, lovely people. Love them. Mr. Andre LaSalle is going to be there. Jacqueline Monique is going to be there. Uh, Lucille Morris, an incredible flutist. She is incredible. And... Uh, I will actually be doing a couple tunes too. But um, more than that, it's going to be kind of a, a spectacular to show the world just what these people do for these kids. And I'll tell you something. You, 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 will, you, will, you will drop to your knees, believe me. And if you can, we will have a banner on the bottom where you can send some money, whether it's $2, $5, $10, $1,000, $1 million, whatever it is. Whatever you can do, it's a, it's a time of giving. So please watch this show and not watch it for us. Watch it for these kids, and please do something special and, and make yourself feel really good by donating, even if it's $5. Because, the, you know, forget about the entertainment. We're just doing that as, you know, just to, for the kids. But we want, we want to try to do something special by raising some money because what these people do for these kids is incredible. So please, please, please watch the show. It will be on at 1 to 5. And uh, also, Miss Gail King will be there, Miss Senior America. She will be there also doing interviews with Tom and myself. We'll be doing interviews throughout the four hours. It's going to be a beautiful day. I, I, I'm really looking forward to it. It's also very sad. But then you look at the other side and say, God, if they didn't have this, you know, how much sadder would it be? So you have to look at it both ways. I was there. I dropped off some stuff there Monday. And I'm standing there talking to the woman, this little tiny boy, you know, the size of my grandson, walked over and held my leg. I mean, I was like tr just losing it. And then his parents came over, and his name was the same as my grandson's. Believe me, folks, there are times when you have to just take a step back and say, listen, you know, I, I can handle $5 or $10 or something. But please tune in and watch this show. I promise you it will put you into reality because it's not all about – the world of me. It's about the world of us. So please do what you can and uh, tune in next week. We'll be back with the Maverick Soul. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed Rickety. You guys are amazing. And I, as you've seen the videos, check them out. Follow them on Facebook. Right? Yeah. Rickety, Rickety, uh, Rickety.net. R-I-C-K-I-T-Y. Rickety.net also. Mm -hmm. And please, I know all my people up in Woodstock and everything, follow these guys. You know I'd never steer you wrong. Believe me, this is the real deal. So you guys, I love you guys and can't wait Thank to see you. where Thanks your journey you. takes you. So Thanks for you. having us. Good night, folks. Thank you very much. We'll be back next week. Hang in there. Stay tight.